Hey everyone, how's it all going? I hope that you're all staying safe out there and keeping well. I see I have some new subs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle. I hope you can enjoy some of my content. Today I'm doing a subscriber request. Trent Davis has asked if I could review a barbecue bacon Angus burger from McDonald's. I haven't had this burger before, but I still had a 25% off code from McDonald's to use on my app and it expired today so I thought I may as well go out and grab it while I've still got the discount. So I'm going to take it out of its box now and we're going to check it out and see what it looks like and how it tastes. Let's do it. I'm quickly going to weigh this burger because it does have a little bit of weight to it and I'm just curious to see how much it weighs. 272 grams. It's actually funny because it feels um, a little bit more weightier than that. Anyway. Okay, let's take a look at this burger. Ooh. That is uh, one nicely assembled burger. Here it is. So there's the barbecue sauce on the top with a slice of cheese. And underneath that, there's a little bit of uh, grilled onions and the Angus patty, two slices of bacon and a slice of tomato that I added for no extra cost and another slice of cheese underneath. So the cost of this burger was at my McDonald's $9.45 and with the 25% off, it came down to $7.10. And here is the cross section. Down the bottom of this burger, there's Aussie Jack cheese and the tomato. And what I didn't mention before is that it also has mayonnaise in it. And I've had a little bit of a taste of the barbecue sauce. I really like that barbecue sauce. It's quite nice. So I just wanted to show you closely the meat patty, Angus beef patty. So the very first taste I'm getting out of this burger is the barbecue sauce. It's quite strong. Um, it's got a lot of flavor to it, but it's um, overpowering some of the tastes of the um, other ingredients. Um, I can taste a little bit of the bacon as well. And these are grilled onion pieces. They taste like onion from, you know, like a sausage sizzle or something. They're quite nice actually. But unfortunately, the Angus beef patty is really dry. I'm not sure if this is across the board for all the McDonald's, but it, um, if it didn't have all the other ingredients in it, this would be very, very dry. And I had a classic Angus burger a few days ago, and it was the same. It was um, um, the beef patty was really dry. I'll just have another taste. I'm chewing and chewing and chewing <laughs> and chewing. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doing that much chewing for a. A burger that's supposed to have an Angus, a beef Angus patty inside. The flavors are there, definitely, but the again, the um, Angus beef burger patty is letting this burger down. And the bread, the bread isn't as fresh as it was the other day when I had the classic Angus burger. I think what they're trying to aim for in this burger is like that house grill kind of um, sausage sizzle type of burger with the house grilled onions and the barbecue sauce and it almost is you know successful but yeah I don't know about this Angus beef patty I don't remember their normal patties being that dry but this is really really dry and if it didn't have the other ingredients on it it would be a very very dry burger it is quite tasty, but it just yeah has that dry element to it. And I'm not really sure if the bacon is bringing that much to the burger. Um, just a bit of a different texture, but um, not so much in taste. I can definitely taste the cheese, tomato, um, the barbecue sauce, and the onions over the bacon. Um, not a bad burger. $9.45 for full price. It's the most expensive burger at McDonald's. I definitely wouldn't pay $9.45 for it, but I got it for $7.10 and it was great to try it. Um, anyway, so that's my review for the Barbecue Angus Burger. I hope you enjoyed my review. It's only a quick one. Uh, take care, guys. If you want me to review something for you, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll see if I can get to it. I am in lockdown. I can only leave 
home up to five kilometers. I do have a KFC, a Red Rooster, a Hungry Jacks and McDonald's of course in my five kilometer zone so I can go to those four uh, uh, takeout places. I'll see you next time in the next review guys. Take care and please stay safe and I'll catch you soon. Bye guys. The onions in this burger are the best thing of the whole burger. Tastes like I'm at a sausage sizzle. Thumbs up for the onions.